How did mummies end up in paint? Mummies in paint, you said? That's right. There are some unfortunate mummies who ended up in paintings. But before we go into that, let's take a quick look at the history of the mummies. What is a mummy? Where can you find them? How old are they? Can they come to life? Well, that last one will happen only in movies. Okay, so what is a mummy? A mummy is the dead body of a human or an animal that has been preserved after death so that it does not decompose. To be considered a mummy and not just a skeleton, the body must keep some of its soft tissue, such as hair, skin or muscles. Where can you find them? Not all mummies come from Egypt and are wrapped. In fact, mummies come from all over the world and have been found on every continent. You can find them, for instance, in South America, Europe, Asia and Oceania. Some of them are intentionally preserved, while others preserved naturally. In caves or deserts, for example. And you know how they took out your brain? Yes. They take a sharp, red-hot poker, stick it up your nose, scramble things about a bit and then rip it all out through your nostrils. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. How old are they? We all know Egyptian mummies are old. However, the generally accepted belief was that the oldest among them stretched back a paltry 4,500 years. Now, thanks to the new scientific technique of chromatography, researchers believe that they may in fact be a whopping 2,000 years older than that. Okay, mummies and paint. Mummy brown was a remarkable pigment that has its origins in ancient Egypt and became popular in European paintings from about the 16th century. To many people's surprise, shock or even disgust, it was exactly what its name implied. A rich brown pigment made primarily from the flesh of mummies. You've actually got uh, mummies here as well actually in the paintings, bizarre as it sounds. It may seem strange to us now, but the, uh, the paint mummy brown was used widely, um, could actually be bought just as any other color of paint. Mummies were prized for more than the wealth of knowledge than can be learned from studying them. Hundreds of years ago, it was incorrectly believed by many that Egyptian mummies had wondrous medical and even mystic or alchemical qualities. One of the reasons behind this is the fact that bitumen, or pitch, a semi-solid form of petroleum, was used in the process of preserving the bodies. Did you know that the word mummy is derived from the Persian word mum, which means bitumen or asphalt? Ancient Greeks used bitumen for different illnesses. A practice was adopted by Westerners centuries later. However, bitumen was hard to come by. So instead of searching for natural deposits, many Europeans resorted to grinding Egyptian mummies. Thus, powdered mummy or mummia became a popular drug. The demand for mummies was so great that a mummy trade was established. Westerners headed to Egypt to look for mummies. Countless tombs were looted and the bodies were shipped to Europe where they were ground for many different uses such as medicine, fertilizer, beauty products and of course paint pigment. Knowing the widespread desecration and misuse of Egyptian mummies in the past, it is not surprising that they were eventually used as paint. Powdered mummy was mixed with white pitch and myrrh to produce a pigment called mummy brown. Its transparent nature made it a good choice for glazes, shadows, flesh tones and shading. The use of mummy brown can be traced to as early as the 1700s, when paint makers began mass producing it. It is said that a single mummy can be used by a paint maker to meet demands for about 20 years. See who's inside, shall we? <laughs> 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 
Unfortunately, the practice of manufacturing and using mummy brown endured until the mid-1900s. However, the idea of using ground-up human remains as paint became increasingly disturbing as time passed. Furthermore, Egyptian mummies became scarce and paint makers just ran out of bodies to use. One account details how Edward Burns Jones, a pre-Raphaelite painter, became horrified when he learned that the paint he was using was made from human remains. It is said that upon learning about the fact, he rushed to his studio, took the tube of mummy brown that he owned and gave it a decent burial. If you like this video, please subscribe and feel free to leave any comments below.